Hi everybody, David Dilling from Marksware. Quick tip today has to do with a, a support issue that comes in frequently, so you could, you could file this under an uh, FAQ, a Frequently Asked Question, or you could call it an FRP, a Frequently Reported Problem. And it looks something like this. We'll get uh, in, in our support form or by email screenshots that look like this. Adobe InDesign is not recognized, Q to ID version 6, etc., etc., etc. This has to do with all the marks for products, but also many other Apple developers out there that do not sell via the Apple App Store for one reason or another. This message, obviously the user is very frustrated. See here, uh, he in this case shows that everything is installed correctly. So, what's the deal here? Uh, here I am on uh, MacRumors.com, one of the first that came up with the uh, search I did, Mac Store and Approved Apps Only. And it says here, OS X Mountain Lion limits Apple to Mac Apple Store signed apps by default. And that's where the problem lies. On That on Mac OS 10.8.1, and actually uh, the updated text is, uh, includes, of course, 10.8.2 on your Mac, you need to turn off a certain setting in your Mac's settings and your security settings by default that are set on. You'll have selected Mac Store and Approve Apps Only. Turn that off. Then you can download and install Marksware plugins and applications without issue. We have a little PDF which shows you exactly how to do that. So our tech support team in California made this very handy. You see you go into your system preferences under personal, security and privacy, and you change it to anywhere. But once you do that, you'll then be able to download again and install the Marksware plugin. So if you're getting a uh, one of the Marksware Q to ID or ID to Q, PDF to DTP for PDF to InDesign conversion or PDF to Core conversion or FlightCheck or PageF or whatever it might be, if it's if you've downloaded it and you're getting strange messages and it's just not working for no apparent reason. Go to this setting, change it to anywhere, re-download. Please delete all your other stuff and re-download just to be sure, and then reinstall, and everything should install and operate fine from there. David Dilling on this quick tip. Hopefully this helps you out. Wishing you a fantastic day.